in a laparoscopic right hemicolectomy, the patient will undergo general anesthesia before the surgery begins. The surgeon will make several small incisions in the abdomen, inflate the abdominal space with air, and insert specialized instruments, along with a tiny camera, to visualize the internal structures. The right colon is identified and freed from any surrounding attachments. The colon is divided with a stapler device near the turn in the upper right abdomen, called the hepatic flexure since it is near the liver. The end of the small intestine is similarly divided. The right colon is removed from the abdomen. The end of the small intestine and the colon are then placed next to each other. A hole is made in the ends of the two pieces of bowel, and the reconnection of the small intestine to the colon is performed with another stapler. The hole used for the stapler is closed, after which, the lumen of the intestine is once again restored from top to bottom. Food can pass through the reconnection and travel through the remaining colon and out of the rectum and anus.